Okay. So I think we're set. Crap. I need to change the stream. Stream titles updated. Everything is updated. Um, I need to redo this real quick. One sec. Let's uh, select region. Boom. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... I will say this. Testing, testing, testing. Alright, we're, we're good. We're good. I will say this. I, I haven't played Super Smash Bros. 64 since I don't even know when. Like, I really have no idea when the last time I played this game was. Um. One sec. This needs to be fixed. There we go. Much better. Man, it's been a long time since I played the original Smash. Let's do training mode. I have no idea what I'm doing. Could be Yosh. Peach's castle is fine with me. So, that's what A does. That's what B does. Why are you disappeared? That's what that does. Oh my gosh, it's all bugged. That's what that does. Is that even hurting him? I don't know what that's supposed to do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yay, it's a confidence booster. Smash Brothers, man. The original. <laughs> that does. What about... Okay. Down, Z, K. Got it. Nice. Okay, that, that's what that does. Getting used to the controls here. 
That's pretty powerful. I like it. Okay. So, training. Feeling better about what I'm doing. Definitely. Nice. Okay. Exit. One sec. I'm gonna change something here. Okay, okay, okay. One sec, trying something else. See if I can fix this bug here. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Whatever. Okay. Alright, let's just try it. I'm gonna be Yosh. Just do it. Let's do it. Alright, Yoshi versus Link for real here. doing bro gotcha in the face oh, gosh Later, dude. Comes the Yosh. Yoshi, Yoshi team. Yoshi team. Double hit. Get out of here. Okay, I'm getting used to what all the controls do. I am no Smash champion, but I will be. Mark my words! Like once. Okay, so this is like easy practice mode town. This box. Okay. Let's do it. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Jerk. Lightsaber. 
and the original Smash. This is crazy. Feels so weird to play. Oh, I'm being stupid here. Darn it! One sec. If I knew what I was doing... Okay. Let's do that. That works. Got him. Okay, so this is happening. <laughs> Where are the targets? Are they not rendering? They're totally not rendering. Ugh. Yeah, something something's wrong with the, with the the rendering. There are like the targets aren't even there. Why am I being stupid? Well, that's one death. That was retarded! Wow, okay. I need to do better. Yeah, Yoshi's eggs are not rendering correctly. They aren't. I don't think any of the 2D stuff is, is, is uh, rendering. I don't know why. I need to get a better handle on what every skill does. Like that. Like, what am I doing? myself. Get out of here, Mario. Oh, the hammer, bro. Did better that time. Yoshi is the worst character in SSB64, someone says. Versus Pikachu. What? Ow. 
Ouch. Gotcha. What? Whew. That's a bit intense. And 64 graphics don't age well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all right. They're all right. Giant Donkey Kong. Okay. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Got him. Slammed him in the face. Board the platforms. Okay, so you can't do that. That is not a... Makes for a bad character. Yeah. Kirby team. way gotcha come on come on no huh. yes continue SSB 64 noob. I am a SSB 64 noobin' it up. Trying hard, but not doing very well. I am trying to win, but it's not working. Try harder, try harder, just try harder, keep doing it. happened. Not sure what happened. Got him. Come on. What? Dude, 
dude. No, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Dude. Three more to go. Three more to go. Yeah. Get out of here. Come on. No! Really? Yes, really. All right. Doing better. <laughs> I'm trying as hard as I can. Ran. All right, Samus. I know you're all up here alone on, you know, Planet Zebes. Come on. Yes. Get out of here. That's right. It's not Zebes, it's Zebes, 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 Zebes. Really? Versus Metal Mario. Zebes? Planet Zebes. Oh, that was dumb, wrong button. Jerk! Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here! Oh! I killed myself! I'm smart. I'm a smart one. I'm a smart Smash Bro. Smart Yosh. Zebes. So, so Zebes is pronounced Zebes. Weird. I guess that's like the Japanese pronunciation. The game was made in Japan, Japan, Japan. What are you doing, dude? You're dead. Oh, 
Rom pa 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 pa. Why doesn't he? Why doesn't he do smashes? I don't know what I'm doing. I I, I never owned this game. This is a, this is like a party game that I played with friends. I don't know any of the moves, dude. If I knew what I was doing, I would be doing better. But I really have no idea. Really. Like, I've never done any of this stuff. The only the only Smash 64 I ever played was at a friend's house. A single friend's house. What, what What's going on, man? Die, dude. The only Smash game I've ever owned is uh, Brawl. And that's because I bought it recently. Dude. So the, the sprites are broken. The sprites are broken. Failure. Okay, fine. Da, 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 da. Race them. Yep. How do you run? I don't. I don't know the controls. Fighting polygon team. I literally just loaded this up, and I never played this on my own. So if you guys have any, like, you know, helpful hints and stuff, you know, go for it, but, but be descriptive. And please don't be condescending. Be cool. I love watching Super Smash Brothers. But as far as playing it goes, I don't, I really, I don't really have it. I, I basically played as Bowser and just like did the spin attack all the time at my buddy's houses. And I won sometimes. And it was fun because I didn't know what I was doing and I would still win. But as far as like doing a good job, man, I don't know. This is like, I, I find like something that works and I do it over and over again, usually. Because my friends were like, well, no, you do this and then you do this and then you do this. And you know they would they would do better than me, but it was really fun like actually trying to do well with very limited knowledge about the game. I would like to actually be good at Smash Brothers, be somewhat knowledgeable, and I know that would require some uh, research and all that. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did I do that? Ouch, dude. Well, all right, cool. That's sweet. What's this? All right, yay! Yes, I've seen a lot of competitive melee, and it's intense. And it's really fun to watch. And again, like, not having much knowledge about Smash Brothers, like, playing, it's really fun to watch because I can tell what's happening is really fun. It's kind of like never have played Mario Kart before and watching people play Mario Kart. It's great. But when you actually, like, play Mario Kart and if you've never really played it, you don't know what you're doing. You're gonna suck. And I feel like I'm sucking right now. Come on, come on, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. And it's kind of fun. Oh, I didn't get hit. Come on. Yeah, of course. And that's that. 14 HP left. Dang, dude. I think that's my problem with like either with like streaming and playing competitive games, like people that games that people take seriously. You got bros that take it super seriously, and because of that, it, it's really hard to get into them uh, from like a, a beginner level. Because if you don't know what you're doing, then you're instantly seen as like, oh well, you're a noob, man. I'm better than you, and it's like that's why I, you know, I don't play really. I don't play Hearthstone. I don't play League of Legends anymore. I don't. I don't do PvP in any game that I play because it's like the community's become so toxic on their base level. And I think the Smash Brothers community is one of the best ones, honestly. But you still got bros who've been playing Smash Brothers for like, you know, three years, four years, whatever. And, um, you know, you got helpful guys and you got not so helpful guys. Oh really? Really? And that's 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 that. Okay. But yeah, any player versus player game. When you're playing against other humans, competitively, heck, even sometimes player versus environment games. You know, you, you got dudes that like they really, really like themselves and how good they are, and they love to talk down at people. And I don't know, that that's never Is that fun for them? I don't know. I didn't see any Evo stuff this year. I was at a convention the entire time. Can you see Charles? I don't know where he is. I really don't know where he is. Oh, I, I'm playing this. Uh, I'm playing this with an uh, Xbox controller. Don't worry. Yo, she still dies. GG. Yeah, I'll be the first to admit. I, I don't take competitive gaming seriously. I'm not a competitive gamer. I do it for fun. But I think it's inevit inevitable that when I play competitive games, you know, like, any type of competitive game, uh, there, there are going to be dudes on Twitch that, um, you know, judge you based on uh, how your ability. That's fun, though. I, I feel like I did okay for the first time playing this game in probably 15 years. Yoshi, you are great!
Uh oh. Jigglypuff. Oh, come on. Whew. Here comes the puff. You can now use the balloon Pokemon Jigglypuff. Good. DK. DK, bro. Jiggly physics. You bought FTL because watching the stream? That was a fun stream. Okay. I want to play with Link this time. Let's see what's up with Link. Okay, his moves are quite different. Sweet. Later, dude. I like it. Later, Boulade. Take it easy. A is so good with me. I like it. Oh my gosh. It was like Shovel Knight. Okay, that, that does weird stuff. Whoa! Cut. That is awesome. Hook <laughs> shot, okay. Nice. Okay, Link feels a little more powerful than Yoshi. I'm a 
sword fighter. Fox seems to know what's up. So that's what that is. All right. Yeah, I did hit my own bomb. I saw that. Oh man, this is this is lame. I can't even see the targets. There. I don't know how to do it. Oh, okay. Up, up, B. That's how you do it. Up, up, B? Man. Got it. Now what? Yeah, I'm definitely guilty of not understanding the, like, the base mechanics very well. No! That was dumb! Okay, so... So down... Down and B throws bombs. Okay. Down to A, attack stuff. Got it. Do you get up? No! Ugh. Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. I'm like failing. Really? One, two. Doom, doom, doom. Why? No! I cannot believe how janky this feels. Failure. Use the platforms. Okay. Aquatic ambience. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like that one. <clears throat> I need to stop pushing down B because it just isn't working. Hit myself with my own bomb again. Woo! Almost died there.
I got thrown. Let's try to throw a bomb. Or get thrown and get hit with my own bomb. Because my bombs are invisible. Really, I'm, I'm gonna... One thing about Smash that's always kind of frustrated me is how weird it feels to jump because the, you, you push up to jump. Maybe I just haven't played it enough to like feel the jumping, but the jumping feels so... Weird. I don't know what it is. In, like every Smash game I've ever played. It's so different to watch Smash than it is to play it. Because generally when I'm watching Smash, I'm watching dudes who like know what's up with the game. Like Stick to jump is what is what I just heard in, in the... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, dude. He's dead. He's gone. Later, dude. You're not getting back on here. It's pretty fun. Okay. Got it. Like that. Like, oh, I don't understand the whole jumping thing. It just it, it feels so unpredictable and like weird.
Ouch. Sweet. Get out of here. That's it. La da 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 da. You never saw that I had a stream? I do. And here it is. I'm playing Smash 64 for the first time in like 16 years. Yeah, I should probably be mapping my jump buttons, it sounds like. Get out of here, Samus. I know you're a girl and all, but just saying, like, I'm gonna go easy on you, because you're wearing a powerful suit. Interesting. Beating up a chick. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. Holding the Z button, pressing a direction. Definitely haven't done that yet. Let's try it. Enough messing with the Z button. No, I, don't, I won't feel like I know what I'm doing here. No! I need to do this stuff when I'm not in a battle. Block button? I have not been using block at all.
Yeah, up up does not do well on jumping. I hate it. Definitely don't like it. Dude, go away. I hear the invisible target things. I actually did it that time. Fighting Polygon team. play a game like this that I'm not super familiar with, I feel like I'm like 10 years old again, and I rented a game from Blockbuster. And I'm just like playing it just cause, you know. Why do I always do that? lives left. Did it. That's fun. And the master head. platform sweet it's really frustrating not being good at this like I I, I want to know how to do better I guess that's a symptom of playing any game that you haven't played very much anytime like play Mario Kart earlier I'm, I'm super familiar with Mario Kart games I am not familiar with this I don't know all the secrets
Dude, up! Come on, jump, dude! Oh, really? It just... It's, it's so frustrating, the whole up... I, I really need to rebind that if I'm gonna be playing this at all. Oh my gosh. Buttons, man. Buttons. I guess I run that risk. Anytime I do a straw poll of games to, to play, things happen where I, I end up playing games I haven't played in like 12, 15 years. Majora's Mask happens when I, you know, I, I've beaten the game once. Pop back on the game. Make some dudes cringe. Play Super Smash Brothers 64. I haven't played the game in like Decade and a half. Still a lot of fun, but definitely not an expert at it. So I'm not instantly like just pumped about the game. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm much more like, you know, like a kid renting a game that hasn't played in a long time. As you guys know, it's, it's, it's a lot different to play a game that you're extremely familiar with versus a game that you're not. Sometimes I feel guilty, like I should be the best at every game that I play, no matter what game it is. Loading up Banjo Kazooie, you know, which which is a game I've never ever played through, because it got voted number one, and I was excited for it, and I had I had some fun with it. But it's just it, it's a strange thing, because you know, then I, I I look at chat, and I see people saying things like, "Oh, it's painful to watch," and it's like, well, should I even hold straw poll votes to, on on what to play? Because like. If I'm gonna end up playing games that you guys vote on, I mean, I'm 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 down with that, but it's it's not guaranteed to be a game that I'm ever extremely good at, and it gives me mixed feelings, because I I want this to be fun. You know? I have fun with it. It's a lot like reading YouTube comments, you know? If I do a song that gets uh, more negative feedback than most, uh, you know, it, it sticks with you. Reading stream chat, you know? If you see people saying things, you know, giving negative feedback, it's like, okay, well, that's negative feedback. And I, I realize there are trolls. But there are people that are in here semi-regularly that say things, you know, like, um, yeah, man, that, I, you know, like, e even regulars saying things like whenever I was playing Banjo-Kazooie, they're like, oh my gosh, it was painful to watch. And they're regulars, and they're not trolling, they're being honest. And it's like, man, I, I feel bad because it's like, okay, what should I do? Straw poll vote? Okay, game I haven't played in a decade, game I've only played through once. Is that, it, it makes me want to, like, turn off stream, play the game get good at it, then play it on stream instead of just play it, you know what I mean? Because you guys voted on it and want to see it. So, yeah. You know, and I, I could ignore people. But, I mean, I'm legitimately, like, playing this in front of you guys. So, it's, it's, uh, ignoring a stream is, um, not something I really want to do. So... I think feedback is very organic, usually. For you, it kind of hurts to watch, but you're having more fun more than makes up for it. Huh, I don't know. I'll be honest though, like playing a game like this, it's like, I, I want to be good at it. Like I, you know, I, I legitimately like, you know, I want to do good, but I, I can't be good just turning on the game, you know, I gotta like study it. 
a lot of the streamers that I watched on Twitch, you know, when I first started watching tw uh, Twitch, were just were, were, were legitimate game players that were good at what they did, and I, w I would watch them. It was and it was entertaining watching them literally ignore the stream and research the game on stream because I I, I was I was I respected the guy streaming people like Kriparian, whom some of you guys may be familiar with. He's not so much like that anymore, but he used to he used to just sit there and straight up ignore stream chat and research a game on stream and off stream. And even though he was not interacting with chat at all, he was learning the game you know live and for me it was entertaining because I respected his ability at games, his ability to, to deduce things, his ability to like dissect games and optimize his gameplay. And that was really fun for me. But a guy like me who, man, I play games just in my off time for fun. You know, I, I don't stream for 10 hours a day, and, and it's not like this is my thing. So when I play a game like this, I kind of just want to open up a game and have fun rather than sit here, ignore chat, research a game, look up moves, look up optimization stuff. I don't have time for that. If I did that, I wouldn't be making music. So I had this dilemma, you know what I mean? So... I love and I, I I had this mixed feeling about straw polls, because I'm never I'm never sure what's gonna pop up. You know, it could be a game I'm super familiar with, I can blast through, have fun, or it could be a game like this, which I haven't played in a decade and a half, and I play and and you know you got people sitting here going, oh my gosh, I'm so much better than him at this. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why did you do that? You know, it's a uh, it's a weird dilemma. Because I, I want to play games. And that's what kind of keeps me from playing some things like, um, oh, Majora's Mask on stream. I'm not an expert at Majora's Mask. I played through the game once. I used a guide. That was a year or two ago. And I did beat it. But, I don't, I, but you know, like playing through a game once like that, you don't remember everything, especially like certain sections. And I don't want to pause the game, look up a guide while I'm playing on stream. So it's like, I want to play the game. But again, you got stuff like, I don't know. Talking about the same stuff again. And yes, you're right. The more I, the more I play, the better I'll get. But again, that's a dilemma. I spend most of my days arranging and recording songs, so it's like I've gotten really good at that. So what does that mean? Does that mean I should just not stream at all and only record and maybe get a video out every five days instead of seven days and not play any games at all and just like put all my eggs in one basket? I did that for a while, and I, I kind of didn't like it because I didn't have any time to play games, any time to chill, you know? I guess if I wanted to maximize my abilities and maximize my talents, I would I would be recording. I, I would have been recording for the past four hours, you know, that I've been streaming, arranging. But I love playing games, and playing games on stream is a lot of fun. Mario Kart was a lot of fun earlier playing with you guys in the community, you know? Even though I didn't get first every time, it was still a lot of fun because I generally know what I'm doing in Mario Kart. So... I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud now. I, I'm glad you like my streams. I, I like. I mean, I have fun. I have fun in them. I just. I, I think about you know sometimes when I when I, I play games that you guys really want to see me play, and I'm not the best at them, and you know I I don't I don't want to be disappointing, <laughs> because you know like. I don't want to disappoint myself. I don't want to disappoint you guys. Like, again, I, a game like Ocarina of Time. I love Ocarina of Time, but I am nowhere near as familiar with Ocarina of Time, especially the whole, the entire game as I am with, like, I was like Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, the original Zelda. Even, you know, even a game like Twilight Princess, I think I'm more I'm more familiar with than, than Link to the uh, Ocarina of Time. I'm way more familiar with Ocarina of Time's soundtrack because I've listened to it a thousand times. So... I don't know. It's it's a, it's a strange strange dilemma. I see why there are a lot of streamers who stick with like one game. You know, I play Hearthstone. I play Diablo three. I play Mario Kart. I play Dota. I play LOL. You know, there there are streamers that do that, and uh, I I see the appeal to that because it's like, dude, you get good at one thing and you just nail it. Just go go go. You know, and you get known for that. But me, I'm I'm totally willing to pull up Super Smash Brothers sixty four and check it out because. It's uh, it's different, you know. It's it's uh, it's not a new game to me. It's a game I played, you know, when I was younger. But yeah, Minish Cap was another one like that. You know, Minish Cap was another game I wanted to play, and uh, I played it on stream. And I didn't use a guide. I used you guys to help me because I'd never played 
I'd never played Minish Cap before. So. Stop talk play. Someone doesn't is not interested in hearing me talk. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I will tell you this. I, I talk a lot on stream. <sighs> I just want... You're surprised I'm streaming this late? My sleep schedule is screwed up right now. It really is. When I started making acapella videos, I, I was I was in bed by midnight, 12.30, and I would I would begin recording. I would go to sleep and wake up at 9, be, begin recording by 10. Those days, man, I don't know what happened. I've gotten so flexible with my sleep schedule. You don't have to type in all caps, man. I hear you. Peggle is great. It's great for you in the UK? What, what, what's great? I'm curious. Oh, oh, my sleep schedule. Okay, the fact that I'm up right now is great for... For the UK. I see, because it's morning for you guys. It is late night for me. Super late at night. Personally, you like watching streamers play games they've never played or haven't played in a long time. Well, this is one of them. Do collaboration streams? I don't know. My stream schedule is not a schedule, so collabing would have to be very spontaneous. You're in Tulsa? That's cool. That's pretty close. It's 4.28 a.m. for you guys. I guess you guys are on the East Coast. It's 3.28 for me. 10.28 in Sweden. So it's, it is late morning for you guys. Can you read this? I was drinking this earlier. What does that say? I think it's Norwegian, not Swedish. But maybe there's some Norwegian bros in there that can like tell me what that even what that even means. I drank all of it over the past few days. It means soda. Pineapple. It was really good. Pineapple taste. Pineapple taste. Okay, so we got we got some guys who know what's up. Do you own Diablo 3? Yes, I do. I've got the expansion, played the 70 on hardcore, all that stuff. It looks like a bleach bottle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so anas, ananas smack means pineapple taste. Okay, cool. Bruce is soda, and ananas smack is pineapple flavor. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Usually play Minecraft until your eyes water, but you saw I was streaming and decided to watch. Cool, I'm glad. I'm glad you uh, decided to join up. Okay, um, I think I'm done. Super Smash Brothers 64. I think I'm done with this game for now. Let's see. What other games can we play? One sec. Let's turn on. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I just wanted to turn on some music while I was deciding what to play. What should I play? It's getting really late. Oh my gosh, it's very late. I should be asleep right now, but I'm not. I'm, t I'm, not, I'm not even that tired. Which is kind of frustrating, because I, I would love to be asleep right now and wake up early in the morning and record or whatever. Play Peggle. Scary games.
play a game I want to play. What do I want to play? It's a good idea. What should I do? What should I do? Man. Something chill. Something like not Mario Kart, not Smash Brothers. I've done that. Warcraft beta. I could load that up. Fallout 3. Man, I don't have Fallout 3 installed in this on this machine. Play a lazy game. I'm not gonna start a Link Between Worlds right now. I'm too tired to appreciate that game. If I'm gonna play Link Between Worlds, I wanna, I wanna start fresh. You know, high energy. I'm not. I'm not the highest energy right now. Let's see. What could I play? Something random. Let's see, what's what's random? What do I have on my desktop? Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to go with my gut feeling here. Okay. Oh, I've got to update Steam right now. Steam is updating. What am I... Something's downloading. What's downloading? Oh. <laughs> got some updates. Shovel Knight updated. That's cool. What do I have in my Steam's li Steam library? Community. Oh yeah, our Steam community. I haven't been on our Steam community in a while. God, I don't even know how to navigate. Groups. Smooth McGroup. Oh, yeah, we have 722 members. Yeah, if you guys want to join the Steam community, there it is. So we have like 722 members in the Smooth McGroup. Let's select this region here. I'm going to put this on here real quick just to show you guys. Yeah, so here, here's the Smooth group. We got 722 members, 17 in game, 84 online. There's the URL Steam Community Groups, Smooth group. Looks like we got a. Uh, Acapella request. I looked at this uh, like last week. Dude's talking. I'm the administrator. We have three moderators. And lots of members. So yeah, this is the thing. If you guys want to join, I, I, we haven't done anything yet. Like, or at least I haven't done anything with uh, with it, with the with the smoothman group. But I think it's, it, it could be a really a really cool community. So yeah. Wow, we just added 30 members. That's awesome. But anyways, yeah, this this is a thing. The smooth group. I would love to do something uh, with it sometime. With with stream, like play some games. Wonder what some really fun games would be to play together. So, as far as a dis a discussion, like I I um. Discussions. Lots of discussions. Okay, I'm gonna start a new discussion here. Let's see here.
Bam. Post discussion. Okay, so awesome group games. What are some great games that we could play together? So I posted that. Um, I should probably. Should probably. Uh, edit. How do I pin this? Pin thread. Bam. Okay. So that is pinned. Kilkley hammer wash instantly. Okay. So that is that's now posted. Just curious what, what you know what you guys think. Uh, I'm very familiar with like you know big MMOs, WoW, Lord of the Rings Online, Arcade stuff like that. Those are great games to play together because again, massively multiplayer. But as far as uh, group games on Steam, um, I'm totally up to see what you guys think. As far as awesome group games, Hammerwatch, Gary's Mod, yes, Planet Side Two, yeah, that's that's an MMO. In 64 games using Project 64, that would be fun. Guns of Icarus Online, very familiar with this game, haven't played it yet. TF2, of course, lots of FPSs. Dark Souls has nothing to do with that, really. I don't think there, I, there is like some multiplayer aspect. TF2. Just Cause 2, Awesome Knots, Borderlands, Team Fortress, okay, first person shooter stuff, I'm not sure about Awesome Knots though. Gary's Mod, Terraria, yeah we've done Terraria before, that was pretty chaotic. Attack on Titan web browser game, wow, okay. Gmod, Dino Horde, TF2, Worms! Okay, Pixelated Sailor, you just hit us. I love Worms. Holy crap, okay, this this request is striking a chord with me. DDR, Starbound, yeah, I, I would I, I Starbound would be awesome. Castle Crashers. Okay, okay. So, worms. I freaking love the worms games. I love them. What worms games are out? Oh my gosh, we added like 60 mem 65 members. <laughs> It's awesome. Okay, uh, store. I got. I'm gonna look up some worms. What, what, what worms? Worms. <laughs> um. Worms Reloaded. It's the highest rated worms game ever. Trying to is apparently. Worms Reloaded released in 2010. Release. What, what's the newest worms game? These are not Worms games. Worms Clan Wars. Worms Armageddon, some people saying. Worms World Party, I'm very familiar with. I played that 13 years ago. Peggle. So what's the best Worms game now? Like, I, Worms World Party is like 13 years old now. Worms Clan Wars. What is it? Is it good? What's, what's the difference between Worms games? I don't even know, because, like, Worms is a great game because it's PvP-based, but it's hilarious. It's got that Mario Kart thing where you don't know what's going to happen, but, it's, but, you, but it is skill-based at the same time. I love it. Five bucks. Worms Clan Wars has kind of class type worms. Okay. Gunbound. I have not played Gunbound. Let's go by price. Okay, so 25 bucks, 20 bucks. From Jim. Revolution's 15 bucks. Armageddon's 15 bucks. Ultimate Mayhem. Worms Revolution is good. Armageddon was so good. Most of the newer Worms games are pretty bad, really. So how's Worms Armageddon? A lot of people were mentioning this. Mm. 
it doesn't have a meta score or anything like that. Looks like a Worms game. Released 1999? Really? Wait, so this is like ancient. One sec here. Is Worms World Party even a thing anymore? Worms Reloaded? Ten years on from Worms, Armageddon, and the turn-based comic mayhem continues. All new edition. Uh, four player. Okay, up to four player online and offline multiplayer. Voice support. Iconic weapons. So this one only has uh, support for four players. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the online multiplayer aspect here. So Armageddon is like a big reboot. Okay, does, does it support online multiplayer? Because I don't, I don't know. Forms Revolution. A bunch of DLC, man. So this one literally came out like two years ago. And... Armageddon can go way more than four. What? Ninety dollars? Okay, what does this say? Four different classes. Sixteen worms. Customizable. Single player mode, level editor, landscapes, multiplayer battles, experience local or online. Okay, so, it, Max, is that four players? Do, are there any Worms games that, that are more than four players online? Because that seems really low. Armageddon supports six or eight. Okay. Armageddon is the best one. What does this say? Multiplayer mode does not say what it supports. Steam version only supports four. Worms Armageddon is very similar to Worms World Party. Hmm. 90s style. Yeah, I, I don't know. I want to play a good Worms game. I just, I just want, like... Eight, you know, eight-player multiplayer, something like that. Twelve-player. So yeah, if, if any of you know of a, a, like a good Worms game with like really good extensive multiplayer, I would love to, to play that with you guys. That would be fun. That would be a great game because I love Worms. I love it. It's my type of game. Revolution.
Where's multiplayer? Single player, level editor, landscapes, multiplayer, experience, local, online, but with up to four players. See, what is that? I mean, four players isn't bad, but man, I, I seem to remember a lot more than four players. Worms Armageddon, though, that's like a 15-year-old game. They, they had to have improved on something. Minecraft with almost everyone in stream would be very interesting. It, we, yeah, we've done that, and it's really fun. We have to set up a server and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, the whole up to four players thing, I don't know. Man, Team Fortress 2. I mean, I'll I'll be brutally honest. FPS is just not, especially multiplayer FPS, PvP is just not my thing. I don't enjoy just straight up running around shooting other people. I don't know. It's not my thing. It never has been. It's kind of fun sometimes in like a LAN party mode, but TF2 just stresses me out. It's like Mario Kart except way less fun. It can be very, very exciting, and it can be very, very frustrating. I just don't, I don't, I don't know. TF2 is not my thing. I love, I love watching people play it sometimes, but yeah, an FPS or MMO are definitely um, great choices. Like I've got friends that can play FPSs all day, all day, every day. I can't. I can play it bursts. I'd much rather load up a game like Mario Kart, which is a lot more like racing mixes mixed with battle. You know? I really enjoy FPS games with good friends. <laughs> like, like that's fun for me because you know what? We're friends. It's not a it's not a competitive thing. It's just goof it's goof off. Mario Kart feels like that. But like Loading up a Counter-Strike match with random bros, dude, uh-uh, I, I don't know what their intentions are, they're probably just going to destroy me instantly because they play Counter-Strike all the time. You guys want to see my Steam library? I have so many games. Why is it only showing, what is this crap? I clicked, I clicked library, there we go. I have so many freaking games and only some... Like, you guys have sent me most of these. Most of these were sent by you guys. I've played a lot of these. Like, I recently played Bulgar the Viking. Someone sent that to me. That was pretty fun. It was very brutal, though. Oh my gosh, brutal game. Uh, Starbound. Sonic, I've played that. You know, I bought this. Shovel Knight, got that. Surge the Simulator, that was a fun stream. Unepic, installed it, have not played it. Eats and Zelda haven't played. DuckTales Remastered. Blood Bowl that was sent to me by Wow Crindor. Uh, I did not enjoy it very much because it had a, has a very hard learning curve. Audio Surf. A lot of these I've played but just haven't installed on this computer, so I don't know, man. Games, dude. Games. So many freaking games. Let's see what's going on with the group. 808 members. Alright, let's see let's see what people have been saying. Castle Crashers, Gary's Mod, Dungeon Defenders, Terraria, TF2, TF2, Guns of Icarus. That might be interesting actually. TF2. TF2. Unturned. High smooth. 8-bit. MMORPG. Curious about that. The Attack on Titan web browser game. Portal 2. Gary's Mod. CSGO. Chivalry. Chivalry, man. I played that with PBG. Castle Crashers. And I won. Oh, this, this is the guy who uh, said worms. Too many games to pick from. World of Pegglecraft. Hmm. 
anyways, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad I started this thread. So TF2, man, like, it kind of makes me want to... I, I have not... I have not loaded up Team Fortress 2 since it, the first month or two that it came out in 2007. When TF2 came out, it was released with the orange box. I played it that, like, September, October, November, I think, December, maybe even January of 2008. That's the last time that I played Team Fortress 2. And each time I played was only in a LAN party setting. Because it, it was a blast playing with friends, because none of us had any... You know, we were all the same skill level, pretty much. I played it. I played Team Fortress 2 once by myself and did not enjoy it because instantly I was mashed up against FPS bros who just destroyed me at every turn, and that was not my idea of fun. It just wasn't fun. It's like walking into World of Warcraft or something and, you know, hitting level 25 and then having a level 60. 80, 90, jump on top of you and just smash you over and over again. And they're having a blast because they're just destroying you because they do it all the time. And you don't stand a chance. That's what it felt like. So, anyways. I'm probably sitting on 50 bucks of TF2 items. I don't even know. I, I remember them, you know, implementing items. TF2 is a whole new ball, ballpark now. Makes me curious, makes me kind of want to load it up, just to see, see what's up. It's all silly crap now. Hmm. Man, we put on like a hundred members, almost. Civ 5. I'm glad you like the stream. 26 in game. Please try the new TF2. I may do that eventually. Maybe not tonight. I'm not I'm not I'm not into the chaos right now. TF2 went downhill ever since it went free to play. Oh, it's free to play. Oh, that's right. So I paid money for it. It's free to play now. Pegel means amazing in Norwegian. Does it? Legend of Pegel. Pegel Deluxe. I've played 90 hours. Wow. So it remembers how much I played Pegel back in like 2007, 2008. Wow. I, I put in 90 hours of Pegel. Pegel is what I used to play... After I would like get done with WoW back during the Burning Crusade days, I would load up Peggle after World of Warcraft PvP raids or whatever. You know what I would actually do? I would AFK Battlegrounds when I would get really bored and play Peggle. And I cannot believe it. it, it it's logged my 90 hours of Peggle. That's unbelievable. I have over three play days of Peggle. That's pretty funny. Almost four. These are all a long, long, long time ago though. That is funny. Yeah, La Mulana is a game that someone sent me and I downloaded but haven't played it. Kill please a Counter-Strike source, bro. Okay, so you you dig you dig the FPS. Poker Night 2? Someone sent that to me. I don't know what it is. Papers please. Oh my gosh, so many freaking games. Limbo. There's so much good stuff about this. I've seen gameplay of it. Kerbal Space Program. Still haven't played that. Let's see. Hotline Miami. I played 17 minutes. Put five hours into Final Fantasy. Seems like I put more than that in there. DuckTales Remastered. Three hours. Skyrim. I played one minute ever since I installed it recently. Blood Bowl. I played 100 minutes. Audio Surf. I played 14 hours. Oh. It doesn't remember my Counter-Strike minutes from years ago, though. That's weird. 
Saints Row. People sent me Saints Row. Shovel Knight. 10 hours. 33 hours of Civ 5. 88 minutes of Sonic All-Star Racing. 24 minutes of Surgeon Simulator. 8 minutes of Volgar the Viking. It doesn't even register that I played Super Meat Boy. Hmm. So the most recent game sent to me was this by Kilkley Hammerwatch. It looks like an 8-bit kind of uh, apparently action RPG. <laughs> okay, so some, some buddies are playing this game. FTL, I played five hours. That one stream. Dun, 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 dun. Just play a game. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh man, FF7. I heard the Steam version is sad because of the music. Electronic Super Joy, that was a fun stream. Oh man. Oh, yawn, epic yawn, epic yawn. God, okay, I'm kind of overwhelmed. Let's see, so many games. Audio Surf. I, I, I want to get Audio Surf 2. I want to play some, some music on Audio Surf 2. That'd be pretty fun. Okay, so now that I've surveyed all the games, we've legitimately put on 100 members on Smoothman Group on Steam. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Lots of new comments. Okay, what do I want to play, man? It's so late. Final Fantasy 3 is on Steam? I heard about this. Final Fantasy 3. I'll release like two. Yeah. Wow, so this is the, the like the remastered version. The remake. This, is this like the DS version? No, this is legitimately Final Fantasy 3, not 6. 16 bucks? Man, um... Yep, Joe Pro, I am streaming. I've been streaming for all night now. You love Turrican soundtrack? Me too. I love it. Man, I, you know, I've never uh, played through the remake of FF3. I had FF3 on like a ROM years ago and loaded it up, but I, I didn't actually play it. This would actually be kind of fun to dive into. Again, it's a giant RPG though. I mean, this would be ma a massive game to play through. It'd probably be fun. Oh, I can't decide. First one to in introduce the job system? Yes! <sighs> you didn't like FF3? Huh. You loved FF2? Ocarina of Peggle. Peggle hype. Alright, alright. Okay. People have been saying Peggle over and over again. So I'm going I'm to install Peggle. Finish. Alright, so Peggle's installing. I'll play Peggle. Because I've joked about it. 
talked about it a lot. I haven't played the game in I don't know how many years. But I put 90 hours into it back in 2007, 2008. So I'm gonna freaking play some Peggle. It is the most casual game I can possibly think of besides Bejeweled. So, Peggle. Peggle music. Okay, we're gonna turn this off for now. Freaking Peggle. Okay, I gotta... I got exit out of this. Where's my OBS? Here we go. Okay, scene. Boom. Not monitor capture. Game capture. Peggle Deluxe. Is it working? It's loading. Can't tell if it's working. No, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Uh, window capture. How about that? What? what the heck is going on? Maybe we'll just do, uh... Monitor capture? Um... We'll just do, uh... Whoa! Okay, wait. Boom. Um. Is that working? I'm watching. One sec. Smooth. Man. Freaking Peggle. It is working. Good. Dude, this game is so old. Okay. Man, nostalgia. All right, I got I got I got to update the stream deck to actually say I'm Peggle. Peggle Deluxe. Where are you? Peggle World of Warcraft edition? I'm legitimately playing Peggle on stream right now. Okay. <laughs> Man, this is weird. Right now, it feels like I'm back, like, you know, I just got done with a mining run in Terracar Forest, maybe in the Grand. And I'm like AFKing Battlegrounds after a long day of mining. I'm playing Peggle while chatting with friends on Ventrilo. And it's late 2007, early 2008, whatever. Peggle is such a simply satisfying game. It actually does take some thought. Strategy is a thing. You know, I even got my parents to play this. Like, my parents became addicted to this game. They played it so much, and they loved it. My brother played it, and they would compete. I would compete with them. And, man, this was a thing. This is the most chilled out, competitive, like, what am I, I don't even know. It's freaking Peggle. I'm playing Peggle. You guys are watching me play Peggle. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. Um, 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 um. Ba bum, ba bum. We can turn on chat. And I can do this. There we go. Okay. Oh. Boom. The feelings that I have the feelings 
so satisfying. Why is it so why is it so satisfying? You like how this game isn't even widescreen supported because it's it's this old. Like people didn't have not many people had widescreen monitors back then. Oh come on. That was lame. Okay, free ball, sweet. Why do I love Peggle? It's so good. This is the best right here. Yes. Bam. Oh, come on, free ball. Free ball, that's right. I think this is the most casual game I've ever played on stream, and I love it. Oh, that sucked. Come on, come on, come on. Bounce in there, bounce in there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Peggle victories. Oh, man. This, this cap doesn't breathe. I put it on for Mario Kart earlier, but it doesn't breathe. Oh, that was lame. Just to plan that out better. Yes. Yes. No. Mm. Oh, what's up, Charles? Charles just walked in here. Gonna do this and this is the this is the first Peggle game, right? I haven't I haven't played any since then. My my mom got Peggle Knights because she was so into it. Hundred thousand. Come say hi, man. Come say hi. Play Peggle. You wanna play Peggle? Say it. Say something. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, dude? You're awake. You're hanging. You're my buddy. You want to get down? Okay. Whoa! The laptop just fell and Charles freaked out. No! I have the worst streaming setup. Okay. Next level. Green pegs activate magical powers. Oh, I forgot about this. So what's this magical power? Something. Super guide. Okay. Carl is attacking things. So this super guide thing is pretty awesome. I gotta use it to get something to get an awesome shot. It's the best shot possible. Bam. Good. That was okay. Come on, hidden. There we go. There we go. I'm down with that. Lucky bounce. I feel completely silly playing this on stream, but I love it. Because this is freaking Peggle. Oh, come on. I tried. Peggle physics. Fail. How long did it take me to grow a beard? A lo uh, like a year to get, a, to get it, like, you know, long? Just don't shave for a long time and you'll get a beard. It'll happen. Let's see. Can I? Extreme fever. We love Peggle. You're enjoying it? You feel completely silly, silly watching me play it. Started off the night with a bunch of Mario Kart 7, high intensity, went on to some Super Smash 64, some medium intensity, and now I'm playing Peggle. Maximum intensity.
Dude, free ball. Get the purple one. Purple one. It's not happening. We lost our energy. Free ball though. Free, 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 free ball. Free ball. Uh, nope. You're missing sleep for pet for Peggle. That that's that's dedic that is dedication, dude. Oh, watch this. Bam. Oh, so close. Okay, if we bounce off here. And not lucky bounce. Okay, so that's a no-go. We don't have any like easy shots. Let's do this then. No. This game actually it's hard toward the end. Like this is easy town. Yes. All right, all right, all right. And can we get it, can we get it? Oh, bam, and purple. 10,000, whatever, whatever, man. Senpai, please notice me. What microphone is that? It's a microphone made in Slovakia. We have to download Peggle now? Probably should, you probably should. What time is it? 4.13 a.m. in the morning. And I'm up playing Peggle. It's all good though. <laughs> I'd be up right now even if I wasn't streaming, so I'm hanging out with what do we got? Like six hundred people in here? Probably a lot of people from Europe. Hanging out. Long shot. This is way more fun than being up alone, surfing the internet, not doing anything productive. I'm actually playing fun video games right now. As silly as Peggle is, I'm having a blast. That was the worst shot in all of history. Nice. Do I play Maple Story? I had a, a, a what was it? Probably a 30 minute stint of Maple Story when I was uh, in 2006. Because I was like, okay, why, what is Maple Story and why do people play this? And I played it for 30 minutes. And I decided that I didn't want to play it anymore. It got jammed in between. So yeah, Maple Story, played it for 30 minutes. I got spoiled on WoW. That's what happened. You play, you play, you play such a refined MMO. You get, uh, you get kind of spoiled. 